Another feature that hasn't been discussed in any detail are the moving averages. Again, you can add moving averages by in selecting insert from the menu and it's the first item or you can press hold down your alt key and press the letter M which would be referred as a hotkey or the thing that I would prefer to use is my quick access menu and select moving averages. Now fairly unique of this program is that we provide automatically for five different moving averages three of which have been set as a default like the first one for instance a 21 day a 65 day and a 200 day and because the fourth and the fifth don't have ticks in them you will not call for any moving averages in this area of the fourth and the fifth line let me show you what happens we have now selected 21 day in black 65 day in red and 200 day in blue naturally like most things in this program we can change things and we can change the color let's say we want because we're not using green at this point yet because we haven't got a tick in here let's say I want to make this green so I select for the uh, first moving average a green color and there we go now we got green red and blue I'm just using at this moment still only a simple moving average. So now click OK and there immediately you have your three moving averages on your graph. If you put your mouse pointer on the actual line in this area here on the top at the moment is blank but watch what happens when I put my mouse pointer on the actual moving average line. As you can see it tells you that's the close or closing price at 200 days. On this one you will see that's the closing price, the moving average on the closing price in other words of 65 days and this one here is the moving average on the closing price of 21 days. To remove these moving averages quite quick as well you just again click the right mouse button and select delete all indicators and immediately they're gone. Now you can also, with the moving average, you can have, as I mentioned, five. Let you now fill in the other ones as well. And let's say I'm going to change all of these. Let's say this one I make it a seven day. This one I'm going to make it a 15 day. Then I'm going to make it, let's say, a 33 day. Then a 65 day. And this one I'm going to make it at 200. Now, bear in mind, on some monitors, the yellow line is not very uh, uh, visible. So I'm just going to change the yellow to a more uh, deeper color. And I'm going to select here, what is this, either a deep brown or is it purple? I can't see it, but just take this color here. And now we've got quite distinctive colors. We've got all the ticks. And we can now click that again on OK and now we have all of them at the same time. We have here the 200 day, there is the 33 day, there is the 65 day and somewhere there we go we must find another one and this one is the 15 day. So you can see it's one, two, three, four and there's a fifth somewhere which I can't see clearly. Oh um, ah, there we go, this is the one here which is your seven days. So it's one, two, three, four, five moving averages. There are, however, people that like to see more moving averages than this still. And what you can do, you can add as many moving averages as you want by selecting your indicators and then selecting a moving or simple moving average. In this case, I put in my uh, frequently used indicators, click on that, it now gives me my little envelope and I can now change the color here as well and let's say that I'm taking a darker color still a purple for instance 
and because I didn't have a 45-day uh, moving average, I just put 45 in there, and I say OK. And now the next one, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six moving average on the screen. Not many programs allow you to do this, and one again, this is one of the many beautiful features of this program. To remove all the indicators, all the moving averages, again, quick access menu, delete all indicators, and there they go. Another item I'd like to point out is that you, so far we've drawn just a simple moving average. You can also select exponential, you can select time series, you can select triangular, variable moving average, and weighted moving average. It's beyond the lectures of this program to uh, tell you what all these different moving averages are, and initially I would suggest that you stick with m simple moving average or an exponential moving average. If you like these settings that come up automatically as a default, by all means retain them. However, if you wish to have different settings that you will regularly refer to, let's say maybe a shorter time period, let's say 7 and a 15, and let's say a 33 day moving average all you need to do type the figures in make sure that you've got ticks in those blocks and then set it as your default then every time that you call up moving average it will have your different settings the other thing you can do you can select different lines like you can select a narrow, a medium, a wide. Let me show you the effect of this. This is in black. So now I've got a 7, a 15, and a 33 day. And one of them is very wide. So what I can show you now, and there you go. There you've got your very wide day um, line. This is useful sometimes if uh, your screen is not all that clear and you wish to have a slightly better vision on your graph of whatever moving average you can then change the thickness of the graph the other thing that you can do is to have the graph in a different style you can either have a a solid graph like I showed you just now or a dotted line which is obviously a broken line there is an explanation of what a simple moving average is all about and it also gives you an interpretation. So all in all, it's a very useful tool. You will find that you will, in technical analysis, often refer to moving averages, or may often draw moving averages, rather. And I suggest that you uh, become familiar with this and try different date or time settings or, or period settings as you will find that certain shares react to different time periods. Apply to the active window is another feature which is the current window or you can say I want to apply it to all the views. In other words if you have changed any of these settings and you want to apply them to every view thereafter you can just put a dot in here that one clears out and immediately you get it will then use be used on all the other um, graphs that you may be calling up. Right, this is about all I can talk to you or tell you about moving averages and I'm sure that once you start using those you will find very many indicators or many periods in time where you could actually have uh, shown or be shown good times to buy or good times to get out of a particular share when moving averages cross over. But that's a whole different subject and I suggest that you refer to the course in your program and the courses Quick Start to Investing where you will learn all about the use of moving averages. I, I see that I've left one of these um, signals on the graph so now we can delete it and it's gone now as well.